your entertainment system consists of a DVD player and a control panel display screen. The DVD player will play DVD videos, video CDs, and audio CDs. To play a DVD, the engine must be on. Move the shift lever into park and activate the parking brake. Then, press the power button on the audio system and insert a DVD into the CD slot. The player will grab the DVD and load it automatically. Be sure that the label of the DVD faces up when loading. When a DVD is loaded, it will start to play automatically. The Disc Auxiliary button allows you to switch between main DVD play and auxiliary inputs, such as video games, iPods, or USB devices. Press to toggle between the different modes. The input jacks allow other compatible devices to be plugged into the DVD system, such as video games or portable video players. Yellow is for video input, white is audio left, and red is audio right. Press the setting button and select display to adjust the appearance of the control panel display. Use the multifunction controller to highlight an option on the screen, then press the enter button to select and adjust. Here is a brief description of how to use the DVD player controls to adjust DVD play. Select the play key to play a disc. Select the pause key to pause play. Select the stop key once to stop the disc in play. Select skip forward or skip rewind and then press enter to skip to the next chapter or the beginning of the current one. The chapters will skip forward or backward as many times as the enter button is pressed. If you press and hold the enter button after selecting skip forward or skip rewind, the DVD will play while fast forwarding or rewinding. Release the enter button and the DVD will resume normal play. While a DVD is playing, touch the screen to activate the menu, then select top menu and the DVD menu will appear. Select the settings key to access a menu of additional options and adjustments to DVD play. Press the eject button on the audio system to eject the DVD from the player. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating information.